So, uh, the introduction to um, the potting and propagation. Uh, this is Amanda. Hi. Uh, she's a new volunteer. This is her first time out here. And so uh, she just watched us explain um, the, the, the earlier part that you had seen, uh, mostly observing. So now she's uh, got her nice, brand new, clean gloves on we provided. And she's um, going through and um, playing these up. And so. Uh, we just want to show you that you know it's not it's not insanely complicated um, it's it's hands on um, and and anybody can do it and uh, you don't have to be uh, you know a, a plant horticulture major or anything like that to to be able to help with this and do this um, just follow Michael's instructions and guidance earlier and it's always good to have somebody um, experienced though in the group to uh, point out uh, little things like if something's uh, you know, maybe a little not at the right level or, or such, um, but in general, um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, and the more hands that we can get, even if it's an hour or uh, a couple hours, um, once a month, every few months, uh, one time. Um, ideally, if you come out more than one time, so that way you know uh, what to do and you have an idea. So, ta da, number two already. <laughs> so, that way you have an idea. Also, you want to make sure you press the soil down. Get it See. So you want to compress yeah, the soil a little uh, bit? You don't want it too okay, loose because it's going to, and that looks like it's a little deep also. So you might want to try that again. Yeah. So it's really good for us to, to we really want to have someone uh, out here generally that... So how deep exactly do you put it again? Um, right about where, see where the first roots come uh -huh. out there? That's about where the top should be. Okay. And also, that's... Oh, I think we just have to dump it out. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. That, that's how it goes sometimes. I mean, I've been doing this for a long time, and, and yeah. I still get corrected, so. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I correct people all the time. So yeah. one of the purposes for, for squishing it against the side here is to get part of it somewhat compacted. The soil is very fluffy, especially with all this coffee chaff in here. And if we don't get it squished while it's in the pot, it's going to squish eventually, and then we're going to have half a pot with, of soil, and, and that's, that's kind of unprofessional. Uh, <laughs> you want to give your plant as much soil as the pot has room for, and you want to have it at the right level. Now, soil compaction is generally considered a problem in forests and whatnot, but we're just pressing on it with our fingers. We're not driving trucks over it. So. It's, it's a different sort of compaction. We're, we're just pressing out the, the air spaces and the extra fluff. And you see, I'll, let me dig down here a little bit and show you where the roots start. So you can see... Like pretty much at the top? Pretty much right at the top there. So that's, I, I got that pretty much right where I was aiming. And and that's what you want to do. And you know, you also want to push it down to get rid of the excess fluff. And make so sure it's not. Uh, make sure you don't have half a pot of soil that looks like a full pot. Yeah. So it's kind of an art and a science. And uh, so I was starting to say that <laughs> um, it, it helps, you know, if you have a little bit of experience, but it's not required. And uh, it's always good to have um, other people that you know can guide. Um, some of this really basic stuff. Uh, so that's why we're making this video oh. to uh... <gasps> Where? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I, get, I wanted to edit that out. <laughs> yeah.